All right, so if you watched our previous video, you'll know that we got run out of Crested Butte by the smoke and we were headed for Flagstaff, but decided to stop here in Telluride because the air quality was amazing. Yeah, and we knew the spot existed. We had scouted it in the truck before and we just decided to come do it. Right now we are headed out where we headed. We're gonna go mountain bike because the gondola after 5 p.m. is free yeah. with a bike. You can't do the bike park, that's a separate ticket, but you can ride trails that are predominantly downhill, so less pedaling. We got those bikes on there. Yeah, it's kind of just like a DIY thing. We're on a 12 minute gondola up to not the top of the mountain, but it's like a stopping point. Wait, is it the marketplace or the market center? I still don't know. If you want, if you want to learn all about it, go watch our last Tell You Right video. <laughs> we're gonna hop on the Prospect Trail, which is gonna take us somewhere. I'm not sure. I can turn off the camera. protein powder before I came on this ride. Don't feel good. It's a little harder than you made it sound, not gonna lie. I mean, compared to like some of the stuff we've ridden around mm. here. I think it's all down from here. Yes. Can you see okay? No. I feel like blind man blasting yeah, on. I kind of do. I don't. Yeah. Bad choice. Didn't plan that one out. No, I didn't. <laughs> It says next time you reach a road, it will be a hill. You ride up and right. So I think we take this road. Obviously, we have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, so we popped out of the woods too, and we realized, oh, there's the gondola. Yep. So this is actually not the gondola that we took up, but it's one that takes us to another transfer station, which then we can hop on another gondola that takes us over to the transfer station where we got off. Yeah, so we pretty much get dropped right off at our car. It does smell like weed in here. We're on the gondola again. Back on the gondola, <laughs> doing a hike up at the top here. Apparently this hike is super steep. Uh, that's what all the reviews said on all trails, so we shall see. <laughs> oh, that's this one? It's supposed to be pretty wicked. Yeah, we just climbed like 400 feet. No, it's not a thousand. Oh, not a thousand. A thousand feet. <laughs> That's where we are. Climb like a fifth of it. Yeah, yeah, like a, like a fifth of it. Cliff bars, so it's breakfast. Wow, this is amazing. Look at these views. It's like the best chairlift in America right here. Yeah, well, that kicked my butt. I don't know about you. That's pretty hard, but it's pretty, it's short, so it's not terrible. But yeah, that was, that was a punchy little climb at the end. Yeah, well, the whole thing was pretty steep. Yeah, it was very steep. We might be crazy, but instead of going down the way we came and then taking the gondola back into town, we're gonna hike the whole way back down. into town. All right. I could hike the gondola. Let's go try it out. You could do the gondola? I could do the gondola. Um, 
She's backing out on us. No. Okay, let's do it. All right, so it turned out we didn't actually eat our lunch at the top. So we went and climbed an extra 10 feet. Now we're at the top. We have to go all the way that way. And then down there. What have you gotten us into? This is definitely a bit of a sketchy trail. I just ended up on my butt sliding down some scree, but it is 100% worth the added mileage and the added descending. This trail is incredibly beautiful. I'm scared you're gonna catch me like falling on my- You're like having a crab walk it. It's hard to see on camera that it's really steep, but... It's not really steep, it's super loose little rocks. It's like walking down a waterfall of rocks. Now we're back into the woods and the trails calm down a lot. It's not nearly as intense. So that's nice. I'm They're... tired. Me too. It's a long hike with little food. I think I've had a peach for breakfast. Oh, oh my God. An apple and a cliff bar and a half today. And it's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. So we're here in Town Park and we didn't sign up for the Jazz Festival, but we can hear it just the same from where we're sitting. And it's free. So yeah, Telluride free hack number 724. <laughs> Not that far, but yeah, <laughs> we're getting there. So we got some awesome vegan pizza from High Pie. Mm -hmm. They've got really good vegan cheese and this like exceptional pizza, they call it Enchanted Forest or something like that. It's got it's yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, go, go, go. <laughs> it's blueberries, pineapple, and normally broccoli and pesto. That's so good. I know it sounds awful, but it's It's really an amazing good. combo. Look at this double chin. Like, go back. Go back. Look at that. Hey, modern camera. Bike park today has been a goal of ours all summer long. We but to do many bike parks. Yes. And we've done no bike parks. But we keep getting pushed out by the smoke. We were gonna do it last time we were in Tully Ride and then that didn't happen. We were gonna do it in Preston View, that didn't happen. So today's the day. Yep, making it happen. And so for those of you who don't know, a bike park is pretty much a ski resort that turns into a mountain bike paradise in the summertime. So they make the lifts accessible to bikes and you get to put your bike on the lift, go up, and then ride down these epic, awesome trails. And you can do it over and over and over again. Without having to pedal up. I'm stoked, it's gonna be awesome. Thank you. Shift boss. Should be right here. Like I, it hit a rock really hard and I think it just like, oh, that tire's done. Got a hole in my tire coming down just now. So I'm hoping, do you guys have aggressors in stock? Three, yes. Got the last one. All right, well, I headed up for one last run. I think this will be the fifth or sixth run of the day. So I definitely feel like we've got our money's worth. And I gotta say too, that as fun as this is, my body is beat. And I think this is about all I can handle. It's surprising how much just riding your bike downhill takes out of you when you're really sending it and 
hitting stuff hard. Just ate dirt coming down this stupidly easy section and just lost my front wheel off the side of the hill. Pretty sure I'm okay. Kind of landed on my chest and slid and got a little bit of lost skin on the leg, but overall I'm okay. Man, more holes in my shorts. Fortunately, I left the GoPro with Victoria at the bottom of the mountain before I headed up for this last run. Probably would have obliterated it. As you can see, I was sliding on my chest there. Bike's down the hill right now. I'm gonna check on that, make sure it's okay. I'm afraid my bike might have had it harder than I did. It's down here on a rock. Uh, hope everything's okay under there. That yeah, bike's okay. All right, let's get this thing back on the trail. One of the reasons that we really wanted to stop in Telluride is that we have some good friends from Fort Collins that had already rented an Airbnb there. So when they arrived in Telluride, we decided to do the Bridal Veil Falls Trail. This is a newly constructed trail that allows you to get up to the famous Bridal Veil Falls in Telluride without having to hike the road. If you're in Telluride and you only do one hike, this is the one to do. I think there were like four or five waterfalls, but honestly, we lost count because there were so many of them and they were so beautiful. about hunting mushrooms. Let's do it. This weekend. Let's go mushroom hunting tomorrow. That sounds so fun. It'll be the only thing I've ever hunted before. <laughs> so we're out mushroom hunting. We just found our first porcini. You're not supposed to pull them up from the ground because it damages their mycelium, which is like their roots, and that's how they reproduce. So you have to cut them at the base. Look at that. I think that's a porcini. That looks very porcini-ish. And there's gills. We should take this to a mushroom expert today, make sure we're <laughs> not gonna hurt ourselves. So it's a good thing we're doing this with service, phone service because this is not an edible porcini. It's a porcini lookalike but the giveaway are these gills on underneath. the bottom. This ribbing that we have. A porcini should just be like kind of fuzzy looking. Spongy. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna compost this back. Go Maybe. make more mushrooms. To the earth. <laughs> Pretty sure. Ah! Oh my gosh, I think we oh found one. Oh my God, one. look at it. That's 100% a yes. porcini. Yes, that's it. Wow. All right. Cool, okay, we found one. So there's gotta be more, right? Kind of where there's red on top, but I think I read that you know we'll take these into town today and like get try to find an expert to make sure we're not going to poison ourselves. All right, let's keep hunting. Okay, let's do it. Just when we we're about we're, to give up, we're we three were. feet from gold, baby. Oh my god, they're horny! Yes. <laughs> so that's a little funky looking though. There's bugs inside this. I'm yeah, like looking that's at the bugs. Gross. Like you see that? Right yeah. There? Let's cut this one in half. See what it looks like. Do you want to do the honors? I don't have a knife. Where's your knife? I left it in the truck. Why'd you leave it in the truck? Because I forgot. You forgot your knife in like the one instance we're actually using <laughs> knives? <laughs> you always bring your knife. Got one? Yeah. Is it like, like too brown again? Yeah, tons of bugs. Hello, madam. Would you have for a lift? You have to open the door. All right, so after our morning of aimlessly wandering through the woods, not really knowing what we were looking for, we went into town where the mushroom festival's happening, and they had this amazing circus tent just full of mushrooms that people had brought in and identified. So we now know what a porcini mushroom actually looks like. And this right here is a perfect specimen of one. It's young, but not so small that we shouldn't cut it. And it's super fresh and all we have to do, slice it out. Oh, wow. 
So characteristics of the porcini mushroom are the sponge-like texture underneath the crown. Is it the crown or the hood or the um, cap? cap? Cap, yeah. Yeah, and then it's got this really wide flaring base that doesn't have any like black speckling or anything on it. It sort of looks like a white eggplant, I think. What about this one right here? Yeah, that's a porcini. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, that's what they had on the table. Yeah, it's very slimy though. In like a bad way? Yeah. Like the top feels kind of like a slug. So these are the hazardous ones. Definitely don't want to eat them. If only every mushroom that was toxic was that apparent. Oh, oh look at that. That's like a pound. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. That's a porcini. I'm like pretty sure look how thick it is. Yeah, I think it was. So I read with my, my shrooming research that you should leave the biggest ones and the smallest ones. This is basic hunting rules. You leave the big ones. See, we're so good at hunting. All right, well, I think we're gonna call it a night on the mushroom hunting. We've got about a 10 pound bag here. I think that was way more fun than I actually expected. That was super fun. It was one of the funnest things I've done in a while. It's a very meditative thing, honestly. It's like a very basic human activity, like hunting, hunting and gathering in the woods. And you're just like looking down at the ground the whole time and just sort of wandering around, trying not to get lost. We had a rough start. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but once we got some guidance, it was a lot easier. Check with expert mushroom people before you eat mushrooms. Yeah, don't take our word for it. Don't take our, don't, yeah, none of this is like advice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go chop these things up and see how they taste. Yeah. Hope we're uh, still here tomorrow. <laughs> our good ones, and then we got this pile of rejects. These are the ones we started out with and they're a little goopy. Ew. So we just did some YouTubing and I think the ideal porcini mushroom is more like this specimen right here, which we only got one of. All these other big ones are a little bit maybe past their prime, but we're still gonna try cleaning them up and cutting them to see what they look like on the inside. So it might not look pretty, but we've got some spaghetti here with pesto, homemade pesto, and then our hand-picked mushrooms that we sauteed and stuck on the top here. And then to honor the occasion, we had some mushroom soup in the cupboard that had to be used up. So figured tonight was the perfect night. Well, I just dropped Victoria off at the Durango airport. She's got to get back to Florida for a family emergency. I'm soloing it down to Sedona where we're going to be spending a couple months probably. And I've got nothing more than a bag of peaches to keep me company here for about a seven hour drive. All right, well that was off to a good start. Google routed me down this dirt road. And once I looked it up, it is dirt road for miles. So there's no way we're doing that. I'm taking an alternate route and hopefully end up in Sedona tonight.